The year is 2012. I'm a starting pitcher for the Brookwood Broncos, um, Brookwood High School in Snellville, Georgia. We're playing our crosstown rivals who we play every single year, Parkview Panthers, and we're playing them in the state championship. Now I'm rolling, rolling through it, and you know it's the seventh inning, and I know who was coming up to bat. Um, a good friend of mine, Matt Olson, was hitting third. First pitch to the first batter, out. Second batter, out. Two quick outs. I'm rolling. We want to go into extra innings. So then Matt steps up. You hear his walkout song. I'm in. I don't know if you could hear it. I could barely hear it. The crowd was going crazy. And um, I see the pitch and it's my two seam fastball i've thrown it a thousand times i throw it and matt got all of it just every piece of it i think i'm still might have some whiplash from turning so quick it was gone in a hurry and with you know a blink of an eye parkview gets three outs and they dogpile on the mound and we're just you know hanging our our heads and watching them dogpile and we get on the bus and I sit down in my seat I I grab my phone I have a text message from Matt Olson so I'm like that's that's where he's barely off the field I mean he might still be on the field he might have on and grabbed his phone but maybe five minutes walking to the bus um, I have a text from Matt Olson and it basically says hey man i'm sorry i pimped that off of you that's it and it kind of hit me and i had to reflect and be like i mean he just won the state championship he's gatorade player of the year probably gonna get drafted and i'm getting a text five minutes later like hey i'm so sorry that's you know that's not me I didn't, I'm not that guy. And just looking back at that home run, he just kind of let his bat drop and kind of walked a little bit. But he just wanted to let me know that, you know, he cared about me in that moment. And it really made me like the guy even more because that humility is just um, unheard of, really. And he, um, he really made it made it known that it was um, something that he needed to do to make me feel better. So, so that's an awesome story, and uh, and we we were happy to get Alan to uh, to share it with us. In fact, Alan's in the audience somewhere. Where are you, Alan? There he is. <laughs> So, Matt, I, I got to ask you this. I mean, we live in this culture right now where, you know, we see on Sports Center and we see on Instagram, it's not enough for somebody to, to tackle somebody or to dunk on somebody or to hit a home run off somebody. They, they got to taunt them afterwards. And our kids see that all the time. And, um, and that's just, you know, it's this me mentality. And so stories like this and the way you carry yourself on the field, you know, are important for our kids to see. Um, and, and I want to know, like, did your parents teach you that? Is it, is it, were you just born with it? Did coaches teach you that? T talk a little bit about that. That's, that's 100% uh, something for my parents and coaches. Um, you know, I, was, I came up being taught to play the game the right way, um, which to my parents and coaches was, Show, show the other person respect. Um, yeah, you're trying to beat them. You're trying to, you know, I'm trying to hit a home run off you out there, but at the end of the day, this person is giving it their all. Um, there's, there's a certain level of respect that you have to give. Um, it's not always gonna be in your favor. So when you hit the home run and you flip your bat to the moon, um, Personally, I don't want that happening to me on the back end if I go up and strike out the next at bat, you know? So 
I think having the awareness that you're not going to be on the top of the mountain always. Um, sports are tough. There's, you're going to have bad games. You're going to have bad years. You're going um, to forget how to hit for a little bit. You're going to miss all your three-point shots for a week or whatever it may be. And um, to me, if, if you want all that attention when it's going good, which is what that is, um, if, if, if you hit a thir or if you dunk on somebody, let's say in high school, and you got to stand over him, you want that attention, all right? So if, if you want that attention when it's going good, you, you better be okay with it when it's going bad. And um, for me, it's, it's just not worth it. Uh, I, I understand that the person on the other side is putting probably just as much effort in as me. Um, it could be my day that day, it could be his day, but there's got to be that base level of respect. Um, we're all going to be competitors, you know, um, in big moments. You know, you're going to, sometimes you're going to do things that could be out of character or heat of the moment gets you. Um, but I, I think in the long run, you, you can't be like that. And, uh, you know, I, you, you got to, you know, that, that respect factor has to be there. Well, I, I'll just say, you know, first of all, you know, just on behalf of all the parents out there, well done. And uh, thank you for emulating that and showing our kids that, that that's a better way uh, to play sports and to treat other people. Right.